What is going on everyone? This is Nier again and today for you some gameplay on the downloadable content map. This is only for Elite Premium members at the time of this video. But we're playing on Liberation, which is kind of like a remake of Central Park. They actually call it Liberation Park in the game and uh, there's actually signs like all throughout this map that say Liberation Park. Uh, they break it down in different sections of the map. Uh, you know, like over here is the bathrooms and over there is the um, underground bunker and they, they, have they have signs and cards and everything all throughout this map. It's a really good map in terms of you know, what it looks like, like uh, the foliage everywhere obviously, the, you know, the, the way the map is set up, the way it looks. It's a great map in that sense. But uh, in terms of gameplay, <laughs> I'm having some difficulty. I'm definitely having some difficulty. Um, it's a pretty big map. It really is. This is like, um, I'd almost put it on, on a scale of outpost in terms of size. And you know, the fact that uh, on the Elite playlist you can play Kill Confirmed, uh, hardcore mosh pit, search and destroy, uh, domination. There's not too many uh, game modes you can actually play, and at, at this point, I feel as though this map is only uh, suited for ground war, if that makes sense. Just with, with how big the map is, regardless of game mode, I mean, it's really hard to get a spectacular score because it's just the way people play the map. They see such a big map, it almost plays like a Battlefield 3 map, if that makes sense. Now, for example, if you've played Team Deathmatch in Battlefield 3, you'll know that. Um, uh, in Team Deathmatch Battlefield, they're ba they basically break it down so you're only playing in one certain part of the map, but it's still bigger than you know generally any Call of Duty map. It's just a broken down part of a Battlefield map that's pretty big, but yet not as big as the entire map itself. And then if you play Team Deathmatch through, like on average, you're gonna get like 10 to 20 kills at the most, and that's basically how this map plays. Is like on average, you're gonna get 10 to 20 kills, you know, the most, you know, depending on the people you're playing and how they're playing. For me personally, in this game, look at this kid. I mean, I'm facing people who are laying on their bellies this whole game. And that's generally what happens when I play this map. Now, I can, I do believe, I do believe, you know, I'm not trying to be completely negative here, but I do believe this could actually be uh, one of the best maps in the game if, uh, you know, it, they would implement the ground war. I mean, the whole Call of Duty Elite system right now, I believe, is flawed in the sense that people with, you know, Elite Premium members have gotten this map two months before, you know, the general public is going to have access to this map. Now, once the general public has access to that ma this map, I wonder, are they going to make you know, a map pack only playlist, kind of like they did in World of War, are they going to implement them into the multiplayer, like, you know, your general map rotation uh, for, you know, let's say Search and Destroy Ground War, because personally, I think this is a great, this would be a perfect Ground War map, I mean, it'd be a little, it's a little bit bigger than, um, you know, what, you know, what a normal map would be, but I think on a 9 on 9 scale, this map would just excel in that situation. I mean, for 6v6, it's, you know, I guess you take it with a grain of salt, it's more or less uh, how you play the game, how you approach the game. Now, if you're one of the people that like to, you know, snipe like this guy and just kind of stand in like a random area, then you're going to like this map, except, you know, you're still, even if you do play that way, you're not going to get a good score most of the time. And look at me, this is actually a gigantic failure. I'm like, oh, an attack helicopter, meh, yeah, let me go take the attack helicopter, boom. <laughs> that was a stupid move on my part, but I'm like, ah, what's, you know, well, what's one death going to do? I mean, uh, Kill Confirm is not really a, you know, a kill to death based game mode, even though it's a variant of team death match. You basically... Uh, you can go negative and still do more for your team than anyone who went positive just because you run around and grab tags. So I wasn't too concerned with one death. I mean, it wasn't a big deal to me. And look at this guy hiding. He's going to try and see for me, I think. Or I don't even know what he was doing, but he's down now. But yeah, oh yeah, here's the underground bunker. Those of you who haven't seen the underground bunker. Now, this is actually one of the big problems with this map is this underground bunker. I think I see a guy underneath the bridge. Yep, lying on his belly. <laughs> but the underground bunker is like a part of the map where the, they'll spawn you there and then you'll just get repeatedly murdered as you spawn there. I mean, there, uh, There's a bridge right here obviously that I'm right next to and then there's also the bridge in the very middle of the map where they uh, locate the B flag for domination. Now you'll find people all the time just laying underneath those bridges and just pointing towards the underground bunker waiting for people to spawn in there and then run out and then they shoot you as you come out. Like that that would be a spawn flaw that I've noticed when I, you know when I'm playing here on Liberation. But other than that, it's not that big a deal. Like right here you're seeing me underneath the B bridge and I can just look towards that bunker and I catch that guy as he runs out of it. It's just that's just how this map works in terms of the spawn system. Now like I said though, on a nine on nine scale, I don't think that'd be that big of a problem. And uh, you know, and like a nine on nine domination, which is like by far my favorite game mode, you know, domination and search, but you know, ground war domination and search are the game modes I basically play. And, you know, on a 9 9 scale, I do believe this map would be very good in that sense. Look, ooh, look at this guy coming at me. <laughs> but, you know, in terms of weapons, I do like I do like the way the map plays in terms of weapons. No, it's more, this is more like a, um, 
kind of reminiscent in the sense of you know older Call of Duty maps, like a Modern Warfare 2 style map almost. Whereas if uh, you have Marathon on or Extreme Conditioning, they call it in this game. You know, if you're running around in that sense, you could probably do all the submachine gun, but a lot of time you're not. But uh, assault rifles really excel on this map. Light machine guns will excel on this map, especially since people don't move as often. I mean, you're not gonna you know, you're the Moving slower with a light machine gun is not going to you know, hurt you as much as it would on a smaller map where you're constantly being flanked and people are running at you. This is more of a stand back, pick them off style map, but you know I do believe assault rifles, light machine guns, and even sniper rifles can excel on this map pretty well. Now in terms of how the map looks, I think this is probably the best map, like, well one, one of if not the best. I, I would say actually Overwatch is probably the best looking map in the game, and this is probably the second best looking map in the game. What you're seeing me do right now is exactly what I'm talking about. You lay underneath this bridge, you kill people right as they come out of the bunker. But I do pick up my Reapers, so I'm like, ah, hell, I'm just gonna run over here and call it in. But in terms of how this map looks, amazing. I am absolutely, you know, just in awe about this map. Because I live in Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania basically has the same, you know, area features as New York, because this is obviously set in New York City. You know, Pennsylvania, Ohio, New York, you know, this area, we all have, like, the same foliage. And, you know, looking at this map, it's, um, it's basically fall in Central Park, and, you know, that is how Pennsylvania looks. So I can definitely relate to everything that you're seeing on this map. Like, it's, like, it's just amazing to me. Like, playing in a map that looks like it's, like, my own backyard, if that makes sense. So it's pretty cool in that sense. I definitely like the way the map looks. I definitely like a couple of the Easter eggs they put in. Like, in the pavilion I just walked past, uh, they have scratched into the wall, you mad bro, which I found hilarious. And Oh, oh, oh good lord, teammate saves me right there. <laughs> I forgot all about that. And I am playing with subscribers, which is nice. I mean, I don't have, a, uh, you know, an exceptional amount of subscribers to actually have uh, the elite... Uh, premium membership so that you know not a lot of them can actually play with me which means I'm not going to be playing these maps that often in the sense that you know I do want to play with subscribers and you know the fact that only like 10 of them at the most actually have an elite membership so you know I don't want to sit there and you know, only play this and never play with subscribers which it's frustrating playing this without a team because the elite premium members are the people that like take hold of you pretty seriously and the people you go up against are pretty good in the sense that you know they play the game often they actually have an idea of what's going on but I hate playing people like that because people have an idea of what's going on. Just kind of sit back. It's not like, oh man, I just, I don't know. The the quality of you know player you go up against is just not fun in elite content because it's just the way they play. They don't play a game right. They just kind of hide the whole game. It's it's weird. It's annoying. It's like they care too much about their kill death ratio. Well, that guy didn't. He's walking around shooting an LMG in the air trying to take out the helicopter. <laughs> and we're actually coming over here to the bathroom area. And this, oh, 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 oh good lord, I didn't even think I was going to get that guy. There's a bathroom area over there, which is which is a very, you know, unfrequented part of the map. Like, a lot of people don't actually go there, and I basically get spawn killed there. But you do spawn underneath that bridge a lot, and then if you spawn there, you're basically dead. So, I mean, this gameplay is by no means spectacular, but to get good at a map, you have to play constantly. And uh, this is, like, I'm going to say, like, the fifth or sixth time I've actually played this map. So I had an idea of what was going on, but I wasn't... You know, I'm not completely fluid with the map, which is why you see me running around. Like usually in a you know high caliber or a high caliber gameplay, you see people. You know, they stick to a certain part of the map because they know it's the most frequented, and they will take people out from that area basically the whole game. I don't know that about this map yet. I mean, I'm still sitting here. I'm still learning the map, so that's why I'm running around. That I'm running around this constantly this whole match, trying to find where people are at, and uh, you know, my score reflects that. I mean, a 25 and 9 is not a great score, and you know, that's probably the worst score I've ever posted. But I did get 3,000 points just because I was running around confirming tags, playing the objective, things like that. But I hope you guys will enjoy this gameplay and commentary. And if you could answer me in the comment section below. Um, those of you who've actually played Liberation, what do you think of the map so far? And for those of you who haven't played Liberation yet, you know, what do you think about the whole elite process that, you know, elite premium members get the maps two months before normal people do? Do you think that's bullshit like I do? Let me know in the comment section below and hope you guys all have a wonderful day.